the players out there. Um, my name's Kiana, if you don't already know me, and um, you can read all about my story online, but I was classically trained and I have been fiddling professionally um, for many years now, touring with all kinds of Celtic bands, because um, Celtic music is my passion and that is what I have made my life's work. So, um, weirdly, my unique skill has become that I can sort of translate some of these different techniques, and I will call them all techniques because folk music is all about these advanced techniques that we um, often just don't put names to because they don't um, grow up in the same tradition. But all of you classical players out there who are wanting to learn other styles and branch out into it, don't be scared. You can do this. I've got your back and I'm here to help you translate all of these different sounds. It's just like learning new ingredients you can add to the recipe of your sound. So the first one I want to talk to you about um, is a cut. This is what's used in fiddle music, particularly in Celtic music, all the time. Um, it's a really fancy little triplet that you do with your bow, um, and it's kind of unusual. So let me play an example for you here. Um, so um, a good example would be... It's that little triplet, that sticky sound. tried a little bit on your own but I'm going to teach you right now I can teach you in a minute flat I promise so get out your bow get out your fiddle make sure you have a good amount of rosin on because that's important um, and the first thing we're gonna do is make a terrible sound okay <laughs> all you need to do is put your bow on the string and I want you to push down so hard that you get that terrible like stuck into the string sound it's important and I know you've spent your entire lives trying not to make that sound, but we need to learn how to do it and do it on purpose because you need just a tiny bit of that at the start, okay? Yeah. So it's so much pressure and very little speed with your bow that you get that terrible sound. Okay, so now put it on the A string and get that feeling in your hand ready that you're sort of like pressed into the string and primed for action. If you were to pull this bow, it would make that sound, okay? That's step one. Step two, you need to have a really, really loose wrist, okay? Because what's gonna happen is you kind of get this action spring-loaded and then let it go, and you're gonna get a little triplet, okay? So, get that ready. We're gonna do a triplet on the count of three. One, two, three. How'd you do? So spring-loaded, ready for your triplet, really loose wrist. And it's good to get that little click at the start. of bow here being used like maybe half an inch really really coming from your wrist not from your arm this is the mistake I see a lot of people making it's a big arm movement no if this is a tiny tiny thing right from your wrist try it again yeah and you can control how much of that click sound that you get in it great you've got it okay so now try it up bow I know. So you gotta get that emotion primed up bow, spring loaded, ready to go. Great. And now, bonus challenge can you do it both ways? That's it. So that's the advanced technique called the cut. That's actually quite challenging, but it's used all the time in fiddle music. And if you can learn that, you're going to be well on your way to sounding like a traditional Celtic fiddle player. Okay, let me know how this went. Let me know if you liked this video. And hit me up if you have any questions.